Welcome to Friday's online bootcamp workout. Today's workout is Beat the Heat. Like always, we're going to start off with the, the warm up, the mobility warm up movement prep, and then we're going to get into a mini circuit, um, which is also a mini warm up, but more exercise based. And then we're going to move into uh, AMRAPs, the three minute AMRAPs, superset three minute AMRAPs. We're going to do four rounds of that. And then we're going to go into our countdown finisher. Okay. Pack your shoulders down. Start moving that chin forward. Let's lengthen up through the neck. Chin forward. Lengthen up through the neck. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good stuff. Let's move to the side. Inhale. Exhale. And that's good. Chest up. And then tuck the chin in, lighten the, the neck, and then roll it down. Roll it up. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Beautiful. All right. Shoulder circles. Again, exaggerate it. Get those shoulders up, bring them down. Shoulders up and bring them down. All around. Get those shoulder blades sliding. On the ribs. All right, that's good, guys. Boom. Um, again, flex the wrist. We're going to tilt the elbow over, extend, and then reach. Tilt, extend, and reach. So think about just lengthening right from the mid back. Inhale, exhale. Good. Boom. Excellent. All right, let's get into the hips and the back. Again, tuck, round it out, lock it out. Inhale and arch. All right, let's get the spine flexing. Inhale, arching. Exhale, tucking. Boom, one more. Inhale and exhale. Good. Good. Lock up those elbows behind you. Pack your shoulders down. Hinge at the hips. Inhale, exhale, relax off the hips. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs, biceps, chest. Good, relax it down. Open the feet, grab the toes, drop into your squat, chest up. Sit down as low as you can. And let's open it up. Lift an arm up. Inhale. Back down. Other side. Inhale. Back down. Shift and stretch to the side. Other side. Very nice. And then balance. And then balance. Good. Let's do it again. Hinge forward at the hip. Drop into your squat. Chest up. Lengthen your spine. Good. Open it up. Inhale. Good. Inhale. Shift and stretch to the side. Other side. Beautiful. And then balance on your toes. And balance on the heels. Very good. All right. Hips. Let's move those hips in circles. That is good. For the way. Nice big circles. Very good. All right, good. Uh, knees. So smaller circles will work the way to bigger circles. Good. Other way. All right. That's good. Hip flexors. We're going to. Stretch and activate the hip flexors. Open it up. Take a step. Tilt the hips. Move into your stretch. Exhale and twist. And then relax into the stretch. Okay. Let's do it again. Move into the stretch. Exhale and twist. Relax into the stretch. That's two. That's three. Tuck, slide forward, twist, and relax into the stretch. Good. 
This is four. This is five. Good. One more, guys. Duck. That's six. Sweet. All right, upward, downward dog, starting in a push up position. Back your shoulders, head back, drop the heels. High plank, low plank, upward dog. Back your shoulders down. Good. Let's do it again. High plank, shoulder pack. One more time. Good. Counter stretch. All the way back. That's nice, guys. All right. Hip swivel. Get a nice full stretch in that groin. Hips back. Pull up. Feel that stretch. And then swivel. Turn your hips down. Swivel back. Pull up. Simultaneously feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Turn that hip down. Feel that leg. Move it in the hip. One more. Good stuff. Let's switch. Nice big stretch first. Once you have your stretch, step back. Okay, we'll do one more. That's nice. All right, good. And uh, if you guys have a wall by you, okay, grab a wall. We're just going to stretch out the chest a little bit. We have been doing a lot of work with the chest. So just let's take about 20 seconds per side. Put your mind in the muscle and feel that stretch. Remember, breathe into the stretch. You want to open it up, especially if you guys have been sitting all day at your computer all day. All right, five seconds left. That's nice, good, let's do the other side. So pack your shoulder down. And we're moving away from the wall. Or if you're in a door frame, move away from it. Notice what happens if you lock out your elbow with this. That's good. All right. Good stuff. We're going to move into the next part of the workout, guys. So by now, you guys have your water. Have another sip of water. And then we're going to get into the mini warm-up, okay? Where is everybody? Oh, there you go. Hey, Peter, there you are. So, where is everybody? Okay. Beautiful. All right. So, um, mini circuit, nice and simple. This is a warm up. We're going to get the heart rate elevated. Uh, you know, get the heart rate elevated, get our bodies warmed up. So, we have four exercises jumping jacks. Uh, squat thruster, uh, split squat, 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side, and then band pull parts. Again, if you're on the band, you're going to be doing bent over uh, pulses uh, in that position, focusing in the, the, the middle, upper back, and back of the shoulders. Okay, so jumping jacks, squat thrusters, guys, like a modified burpee. You go down, kick it out, kick it in, stand up straight. Okay, that's just, and then your split squats, straight down and up. One side, we'll switch, we'll do the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a quick drink. All right, let's have some fun. We're gonna start in five, four, three, jumping jacks, people. Let's go, jumping jacks.
But it's time to focus on the breath. Come on, good. Squat thrusters, again, it's like a modified bird feet, but we're not jumping, we're just kicking back. Ready, let's go. Down, step back if you like, step in if you like, stand up, thrust it up. Or kick it out, kick it in, thrust it up. Five seconds left. Good. Band pull apart. Oh, sorry, split squats. Ready. Sorry. Let's go. 20 seconds on one side. Halfway. Switch. Halfway. Time, good, five seconds, band pull apart, or you're doing it from a bent over position. And let's go. Keep that chest up, halfway guys. Time, good. Jumping jacks, ready, round two. Let's go. Again, pace that breathing with the movement. Time, squat thrusters, ready, set, let's go. Boom, kick it down, kick it back. Boom. Make sure those hips don't drop down. Keep them nice and still. Don't let them drop down. Halfway. Five seconds. Time. Split squats. Side one. Ready. Go. Halfway. Okay, that breathing with your movement. Time, five seconds. Switch that, you ready? Set, let's go. Your hands can go anywhere you want. If you want them on your hips, that's fine. Halfway, guys. Time. Good. Bend, pull apart. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, pack and shoulders, keep the chest up. Think about a long spine. Every time you draw that bend apart, you're feeling that squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Five seconds left. Boom. Ah. Good. All right. Good. Get the blood pumping. Now. Okay, guys, this is going to be a pretty grueling three minutes. The next part is three minute end wraps. So we're going to start with exercises one and two, which is a kettlebell swing. Or if you have a drum kettlebell, you have a dumbbell, you can use a dumbbell for dumbbell swings. If you don't have either of those, then you're going to be lying on the ground doing a hip extension. Okay. So remember, your kettlebell swings, you start here on the floor, boom, 
Get the momentum, leg drive, hip snap. Leg drive, hip snap. Or if you have a dumbbell, you're swinging that dumbbell. All right. If you, if you don't have the equipment, you're going to hop down, drive it up, squeeze the bum. Drive it up, squeeze the bum. Now your, your heels are in line with your hips. You're driving up through the heels, focusing on the glute squeeze. Okay, so you're going to do eight reps of that. Um, anywhere like a five second transition, and then you're going to go into a plank. Okay, plank. And we're going to hold that for 15 seconds. I'm going to count it out for you guys. And uh, then we'll go into our next set. So the next exercises are squats and bird dogs. 10 reps of a squat, bird dog, five reps per side. Squats, you guys know how to do. Remember with your bird dog, you're moving the opposite arm, opposite leg, come into the center, touch. When you lift, you're lifting this arm up. If I'm, sorry, if you're straight on, you can have this arm up to the side, but get up as high as you can. The rear leg, you want to lift that rear leg, squeeze the bum cheek, okay? You're doing that both at once. Okay, one side to the side. Number five and, uh, five and six, you got a push up or a kneeling push up and a side plank. One side, 15 seconds, other side, 15 seconds. Just going back and forth for three minutes. Again, we're only doing two exercises for three minutes. I'm just going through them all right now. Band apart, band pull apart. We just did that in the warm up. And then sit ups, you'll need a mat. Uh, we're going to do 15 sit ups. Now, you guys are going to work it at your own pace, but we're going to be doing the two, uh, uh, two exercises, the same exercises back and forth for that three minutes. Okay, so here we go. All right, we're going to start about 30 seconds, guys. If you have a kettlebell, you know, get it now. We're going to do eight reps of kettlebell swing. Drop down to the plank, 15 second planks. All right. I'm going to start off with a lighter load. All right, guys. Three minute rounds. Are you ready? Let's go. Boom. Eight reps. Boom, good. Again, working at your own pace. Plank variation, 15 seconds. I'm starting right now. Pack the shoulders. Good, and time. Good. And you can go back to kettlebell swings or you're doing hip extensions. Working at your own pace, guys. Let's go. All right. Spike. I'm starting right now. Fifteen seconds. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to count up the reps. I'll, I'll do a five-second transition in between each exercise. And, uh, and then I'll just start with the next exercise. I'll count it out. We're almost there. We've got five seconds left. Time. Good. We're going to go back into kettlebell swing in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, and go. Lights. Again, any variation? Breathe.
three, two, one, good. Five, four, three, two, go. Six, seven, eight. Good. Going right back into bike. And up. Halfway, guys. And time. Good. One minute left. And go. Seven. Good. Last one. I did go over time. My bad. Plank. Hold. This is the last one, guys. Halfway. And time. That's good. Boom. All right. One minute break. So again, the next one is squats. We're doing squats, 10 reps. Bird dog, we're doing five reps per side. I'm going to count it out for you guys. Okay. Grab a drink of water. That's not so bad. Okay, guys, ready? Set, let's squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, bird dog, two, and go. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you bring that knee to the elbow. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Switch. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you tuck. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Back to squats in three, two, go. One more. Good. Bird up. Ready. Set. Go. Inhale as you lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. That's four. That's five. Good. Switch. Inhale as you lift. Exhale. Tuck. Two. Three. Four. Five, good. Back to squats. We're halfway, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Five seconds. Four, three, two, bird dog. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. That's three. That's four. That's five. Good. Inhale up. Exhale. That's two. That's three. That's four. 
to five. Good. Back to squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, exhale. Nine, ten. Good. Third dog, ready. Three, two, one. Up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, five. Good, switch. Inhale, lift. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Boom. That's three minutes. Nice work, guys. High fives. Boom. Good. Grab some water. That's two down. No problem. Okay. Okay, one minute break. Got some got some water. All right, 30 seconds. Next one, push-ups. Eight reps. Now just remember with your push-ups, you are leading with the chest. Gonna you know, feel the shoulders stay packed. You lead with that chest. You can do them either off the toes or on the knees or both. Okay, you fatigue on the toes, you can go to the knees, finish off your reps, and then we're going to go into a side plank, 15 seconds, and then switch. All right, guys, push-ups, three, two, one, let's go, one. Inhale on top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, oops, side plank, and up. Again, any variation. This is what you call a long lever or a long pillar. If you need to, you can go onto the knees, and you can shorten it if it gets difficult. All right, five seconds left. Time, good, switch sides, guys. Ready, set, up, side plank, side two. And just square off the shoulders, back them. Three, two, and good. Awesome. Five, four, push ups. Let's go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Side plank in three. Two, and up. Pack the shoulders, stack the shoulders. Five seconds. Switch, side two, and up. Stack and pack. Lift up those hips. Almost there, guys. And time. Good. Push ups. One more minute. Ready, set, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Five, four, side planks. Three, two, and up. 15 seconds. Almost there, guys. Five seconds left. And time. Good. Switch. In three, two, one, and up. All right. Again, stack those shoulders. Pack those shoulders. Keep the head up in a good neutral position as if you were standing up straight. Almost there, guys. Five seconds. And top, good. Whoa, that's three, no problem. Nice work, guys. Boom.
Boom. Good. Now, that is three rounds. Three rounds down. Good. Now we're going to go into band pull parts like we did in the warm up. Again, if you don't have bands, uh, you could do bent over flies if you have dumbbells. Um, you could do bent over rear delt pulses if you don't have dumbbells. If you have bands, use the bands. Now, what you may need is a mat for your butt because we're going to be doing sit ups. Okay, sit ups. Start in 10 seconds. Grab your band. We're doing 15 reps. Ready? Three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. Sit ups. Ready? Curl the spine and sit up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, good. Right back up to the top, bands. Ready, set, and go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. Now you guys are working at your own pace. That's absolutely fine. Okay, I'm going right into the sit-ups. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, good. I'm going right back up into the band pull parts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50, good. Nice. I'm going right into sit ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Done, guys. That's three minutes. Nice work. All right. Good stuff. How you guys doing? All right. Awesome. Good. Next block, guys. We're gonna take a little break, a couple minutes. The next exercise is a pretty straightforward. It's a countdown, four exercises. First one is prisoner jump, uh, jump lunges. Okay, so it looks like this. From here, one, two, three, four, we're gonna do 10, five each side. Then we're gonna to go to Renegade Road. If you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. But basically, a plank row is like this. One, two, three, 
four. Okay? We're going to do five on one side, five on the other side. The other one is a rear foot elevated. Rear foot elevated. You're going to go down. You see how the crease of my ankle is at the chair? So from here, I'm going to explode to my front leg. One, and come back down. Two, three, four, five. If you guys don't have a chair, you want to be able to just do regular split squats, that's absolutely fine, okay? Um, I'm going to be going at a, a sort of a, I'm going to set a pace. If you guys want to stick with me with the pace, that's fine, you can. Otherwise, you can work at your own pace, get it all done. The last one is crossover push-ups. So in a push-up position, we're crossing over, push-up, crossing over, push-up, okay? So from the horizontal position, we cross over, push up, one, two. What we're doing is we're doing five reps on one side of the prisoner lunge, five, seven, five on the other side. Then we're doing renegade rows, five and five. Split squat jumps, five and five. Crossover push-ups, five and five. Then we're going to go four. Do everything for four times. And we're going to do everything three times. And then we're going to do everything once. Once we've done the last rep, done. Okay, cool. So we're going to start about 20 seconds. Prisoner lunge, jumps. We're going to start to a total of 10. Okay. Again, if you have a dumbbell, you want to use renegade uh, dumbbells for your renegade row or your plank row. It's up to you. We're going to start in three, two, one. Prisoner lunge, jumps. Let's. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now I'm going to go into renegade rows, plank rows. Ready? One, two, three, four. Keep the hips square. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm going to elevate my rear heel, foot. I'm doing jumps. You guys can do split squats if you like. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now I'm going to switch. One. Two, three, four, five. Good. Crossover push ups. Ready, set, crossover, push up. One, crossover, push up. Two, crossover, push up. Three, crossover, push up. Four, crossover, push up. Five, crossover, push up. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Boom. So it's round two. Four reps of everything. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Running in rows. Ready, plank position, shoulders packed. Let's go, one, and down, two, and down, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Now I'm gonna go into split squat jumps or having the rear foot elevated. Ready, set, go, one, two, Three, four, good. Let's switch. One, two, three, four, good. Crossover push ups. Push up position, ready, set, crossover. One, crossover, two, crossover, over. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Good. Round three. Three reps of everything. Prisoner style. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Renegade rows. Tight position. Pack your shoulders. And drive it up. One, two, three. Keep the hips square. Four, five, six. Good. Reverse foot elevated. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three. Switch. Go. One, two, three. Good. Crossover push ups. Ready, set. Crossover, one, crossover, two, crossover, three, crossover, four, crossover, five, crossover, six. Good. Nice, guys. Prisoner style lunge jumps. Or you're doing alternating lunges. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three. Four, good. Renegade rows, push up positions. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's it, done. Rear foot elevated, squat. Let's go. One, one more. Two, good, and switch. Ready, go. One, two, done. Crossover push ups. Let's go. One, two, done. Prisoner lunge jumps. Ready? Last one, guys. Go. One rep. One rep. Good. Renegade rows, one rep per side. Go. Good. Lunge jumps. Ready, set, go. One, all the way down, switch. Go. All the way down, done. Last one, one rep per side, push ups. Go. One. One, and done. Boom. High five, guys. Boom. All right. Now, that may have been a little confusing. I'm sorry if it was, but uh, what can I say? Uh, this is week one. We're going to build on uh, each one of the workouts that we've done this week. We're going to build on that from week to week and we're going to build on this one next week okay so that is it for today nice work guys good push what we're doing now is a little cool down all right grab a quick drink all right Now, I did mention it was going to be a little bit easier today. Hey, Ahmed, how are you, buddy? Good, man. I didn't know you were in here today. I didn't see you. How'd you make it in? Okay. Now, this one, guys, is a class hand side bend. The focus here is to open up the whole side, the lateral line, they call it. All right. Lock it out, take a step to the side that you step, you're gonna push hips to that side, draw the belly button in, and bend, bend forward, bend to the side. And back up. Okay, lock up your elbows if you can. Ready, and go. Shift your hips to the side. 
Good. We'll do it one more time. And shift. That's good. Boom. And switch. Okay. You're going to step across to the other side. That's the side your hip's going to go to. Clasp the hands. Inhale. Draw the belly button in. Exhale. And back. Inhale. And back. One more time. Inhale. Boom. Good stuff. All right. We're going to go into the pigeon. Our pigeon guys, we're opening up the hips. Uh, hip rotators. So get the hips square. Okay, get that other leg straight up behind you. Again, personally, I like to hold my foot in place. Keeping the hips square. Inhale, exhale, allow the hips to come down. Now, when you can get that front leg hip on the ground, you can hinge forward and relax into the stretch, continuing with your breath. And that's nice. Good. Let's switch. Side two. Again, get a nice angle at that front knee. You know, whichever one, uh, whatever angle works for you. But make sure you got an angle. And the whole idea with this is to increase that angle at the knee over time. Square off those hips. Inhale, exhale, let's bring that hip down. Square off the hips, inhale, exhale, bring that front leg hip down. Again, when you can touch the floor, you can easily do that. Hinge forward from the hips, just relaxing off the hips. Feel a nice stretch going to that front leg, butt cheek. Stretching the hips, the hip rotators. And that is nice. That's good. Beautiful. All right, you guys, come up, shake it off. We're going to go into the forearm frog. Again, this is um, focusing the hip flexors and your, your, your leg adductors so right up the, in the groin. So get a nice full stretch first. Put your heels on the floor. Reach forward, get onto the forearms, tuck the hips, and move into the stretch as you exhale. There we go. Good. Relax down. We're going to sit back, counter stretch. All right, that's good. Now, the next one, guys, is a four bow quad stretch or a camel stretch. Um, what I like to do with this one, you can switch up whichever one you want to do. What's easier for you? I'm going to do the four bow. I like the floor bow because we can get uh, a lot of things done in a very short amount of time. Grab the outside of the ankles. You're going to inhale. And then exhale. Push your feet away from you. Pull the body. If you want to take a breath, come down. Inhale. Take a little breath. Exhale. Move back into the bow. Come on down. And now let's pull the feet towards you. If you can, lift the knees off of the floor, but drive the hips into the floor. That's good. Relax it. Let's do that one more time. We're going to go into the floor bow. Inhale. Exhale. Push your feet away from you. And come on down. Now pull your feet towards you. Lift the knees off the floor if you can. Time. Good. Relax it. Sit back, counter stretch. Now 
Good stuff. Um, all right, guys, let's get twisted. Twisted lunge. The rear foot, you're gonna put it, you're gonna go on the ball of the toe like that. Okay? But we're gonna step into a lunge position. Make sure your, your feet are wide enough that you feel balanced. The idea here is to move forward, slide the elbow across the front knee as you move your hips forward into the stretch. Bend that elbow, other hand is facing towards the floor and then open it up. Okay, look up past those fingertips, drive through that elbow. Beautiful. Come on down, grab the outside of that foot with the opposite hand. Opposite hand grabs the outside of the foot. Not the same side, hand the opposite. There you go. And let's sit back and stretch out the back of your leg. Tuck your chin in. And just stretch out the hamstrings. All right, that's good. Let's switch sides. I like this one, guys. It's a big bang stretch, man. It's a lot of things. So the first idea is to bring those hips forward first, and then drive your elbow past the knee, bend that other hand, and then open it up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Moving into that stretch. Beautiful. Come on down. You're going to grab the outside of your foot with the opposite hand and sit back, stretching out the back of the leg. That's good. All right. Nice, guys. Let's move into scorpion stretch. Or you can do a chest stretch with your hands on the wall. It's up to you. Side one. Bring your arms straight up to the side, then the opposite knee, go up and over. Now what I'm trying to do here is take the top shoulder and bring it away from the floor so I can use my hand to push my body away from the floor. Good switch. Okay, hand straight up to your side. Bend the opposite leg. Go up and over. Taking that top shoulder, moving it away from the floor. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right, good. Come back to the center. Counter stretch. Good. And uh, all right. So I know a couple of you guys are not foam rollers, but I'm going to recommend you doing your foam roll on your quads, foam roll on the IT bands. Now, from the foam roll on the thighs, you're moving from your hips, sliding down your knees and then back. Just do it like 12 to 15 times on the thighs, either together or one at a time, and then do your IT bands from your hips to your, your knees. All right, guys, let's come up to the top, do a little posture check. So remember with this posture check, let's bring those shoulders up, lift, pull them back, Drive them down and then relax at about 10% and then bring your ears up, chin in. Good. And then relax the head a little bit. All right. Again, your ears, your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles are all in line. All right. All right, guys. Congratulations. You have completed your workout. Have a great weekend. High fives. Boom.